Hey, it is the uh, 2nd of June, 2011, and welcome to this morning Silver Log, about 10 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time. And yesterday, at roughly around 3.38 p.m. Eastern Time, the SLV shares for silver had excruciating high volume and the market went lower about 4% within that time frame and about a little over a percent in just that minute alone. Market bottoming roughly at around 36 and a third has managed to come up to the first Fibonacci level from this high and this low. It has now retraced. If it manages to get up to this level again, that increases the chances of falling. However, Breaking below the support line should give us a test back down to yesterday's low. The five-day moving average is declining now, which means that if the market rolls over, this intermediate bull market would be a very short one in the duration of about two weeks. But I do need to see it go below this level. If it doesn't go below 36.5, and it really stays within this range and the five day moving average will flatten out the market will go neutral and if it recaptures the level towards the upside it won't take much for the five day to move out five day moving average to move higher and that would create a bear trap it's still way too early to be calling this move a bear trap because it still needs to confirm a break above this significant Fibonacci line as far as this on the longer term perspective, it's still struggling getting up above this level. So not only has this move has this move not been a failure yet, it hasn't even been in the neutral level. At least it hasn't confirmed a neutral move. It's got to get above this line in here for the selling to become that of a failed move. You still got this uh, more important level at this previous resistance mark which is what was faced in here it's uh, now at this uh, support line don't know how much this is going to matter because this is a running average since the market crashed now if we switch the Fibonacci levels up and take a look at them from the high in here and the low down towards here this is what we're coming up with this level has now been support on the level of this uh, double bottom area now on a few occasions. Therefore, if it breaks below, then that gives us a mark up towards the uh, 35 area, 34, 80, whatever, in that area, which is also in the area of this previous resistance. Breaking below here means that this move is a failure, and that pretty much means that not only is it likely that we not only come down to this level but even again take out the new low and then at least test that of the 200 day moving average as far as the volatility is concerned it's still quite light which kind of makes me feel not too optimistic for things going lower granted it can still break through this and trade or not trade or at least this move to the 1% 1.2% mark for the higher moves but normally when the markets retrace lower it's going to come on higher volatility and yesterday's selling did manage to come up towards this uh, orange line which is the average over the last 10 days the blue line represents the average over the last two I still feel as if this barrier of 2% will be that of one that will be taken out later on probably only once for the upside but again when you have these wild volatile markets that go up fast and down fast I expect the same sort of things to continue as we move forward finally on the blog there's about 25% uh, of the people who were waking excuse me waking up to the currency and to why silver was important before 2008 if you add 2009 and 2008 together it worked out to about 25 percent 2010 was around 
25% and 2011 was about 25%. What this means is there is around the exact same amount of people on the early results within the poll that is waking up to this information within this time frame, which means the first one, which is what every year to 2007. So that could be 2007, 2005, 1997, any of that type of stuff. The second one is 08 and 09. So the first one spans multiple years. The second one spans two years. The third one spans one year. And the fourth one being 2011 only spans about five months. What this is telling me is that people are waking up to this information a heck of a lot faster than they have in the past, showing that the wake-up call is going on. And if you know people that need some information, need some help, wake these people up if you can, because the more that wake up, that's what's going to take to really collapse this currency and get us away from this really bad debt-based system, which really, in my opinion, and I think many other people's, has to go.